That was a Zelda noise, if you didn't know. Okay. Limits, baby. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Outdoor Skull Talk. My name is Mark. I'm here at Pier 50, 52, uh, China Basin area, basically where I'm at the night spawn for the herring. It's been pretty wide open today. Um, this past few days, especially the past eight days, herring have been coming here close to high tide at night. Um, seals, sea lions have been pushing them in. You know, it's incoming tide right now, heading towards heading towards high tide, probably around like 2, 2 a.m. So right here, I'm just casting right off the pier. And uh, if you're planning on doing this, it'd be very important for you to be mindful that there are barnacles, there are pylons, so you gotta cast out a bit. And you actually gotta step close to the edge, but not all the way to the edge, and kind of, you know, reel it in or pull it in with a bit of distance from the wall because it will snag. So I got a six foot net here. Start off by holding it at the collar. I got a bunch over here already to be coiled because I don't want it getting tangled when I throw it. Basically, fold it into thirds. I'll take the skirt. Start looking my way to the left. Grab a bunch of the left and putting it in the 12 o'clock position. Then I'll grab a bunch like that. Make sure I watch my footing because I am on a pier. So, and I'll wait till it hits bottom. Then I'll start pulling up immediately. Making sure I got constant pressure on it. There we go. Nice pull right there. Repeat over and over so you've got your limits. Not exactly the best fan out motion, but another thing to think about is the length of your, your line. I kind of duck down a bit. I would add a bit of paracord to the end so that I wouldn't have to hunch over. But once it's bottom, you want to pull it right away. Again, you want to make sure your net has some distance from the pier. And there we go, I got a decent, decent amount right there. For folks who are just starting out doing this, I would advise that you get a smaller net. Once you get to the six, seven, eight foot range, they do tend to get heavy. And over time, you're going to get tired faster. So you can see. I think a lot of people were here earlier in the week and they were hitting on sabiki rigs because they were pre-spawn. So a lot of them were just hanging out over there, not necessarily coming into the eel grass and depositing their eggs yet. So a lot of people were able to get them on sabiki rigs because they were feeding. But now it's wide open. Everybody's catching them on, on these cast nets. We're back on a refill, where we at? All right, so I dumped my last one, so I got half limit, so I'm gonna fill this up also, so you can get my limit. And then the commercial boat's getting way closer. So I don't know what that means. Does it mean the herring are leaving and I gotta get it in? I'm gonna get it in no matter what. Also, shout out Evan. Saw you at the end of the pier, said what's up. Just wanna say what's up to Evan. For those of you wondering where to find information about when a herring spawn is happening, two good resources are the Lost Anchovies blog and also the Northern California Herring Report Facebook group. I'll link both in the description and I'll give you some cards up at the top. Start moving birds now. For those of you who are interested in doing some herring scouting and hunting of your own, here's some herring spawn locations located all around the Bay Area. Some telltale signs that you're gonna to have to look for is a lot of wildlife activity, like seals diving, making noise, and also birds congregating around the area. Oh, they're still here, sure. Come on. What do you wanna see me make of this herring? Leave a comment down below. Someone asked me if I could make oyo, which is uh, sun-dried herring. And uh, Filipinos tend to eat sun-dried herring with uh, chocolate porridge, champurado. 
in other cultures it's kind of a drink, but for us it's a chocolate porridge. And we use herring with it. Dried and salted herring. So maybe I'll do that. But if you got any ideas for other recipes, leave a comment down below.